all right how's it going everybody and you know what it is we're looking at the top 10 gpus under 100 bucks that you can get right now now before we get into this video if you like the video please press on that like button because this helps me with the algorithm and subscribe if you want to see more videos of that kind now we are looking at 10 gpus as i said like divided into two fives and uh, two categories like uh, the gpus that will not last you that long and the gpus that will last longer <laughs> you know if that makes any sense now the only reason it goes like that because amd and Nvidia they stopped supporting some GPUs they will uh, not have new drivers anymore and it was a bummer for me but that doesn't make them bad GPUs they can still play a lot of games and a lot of the upcoming games will be at least playable like 30 frames per second but don't look at settings or like you know a resolution hopefully but like don't count on it too hard now the first five gpus the gpus that uh, will not last that long you can just get them for the next six months until the gpus go down in price or the market kind of stabilizes uh we'll look at the gpus that don't need power or like can work without a six pin uh, power connector uh which are the gt 1030 and the gtx 750 ti now the gtx 750 ti is a very good gpu like it's been there for a long time uh, i'm pretty sure you can get it for under like six or maybe 70 bucks but i don't know why it's pretty expensive on ebay right now it's faster than the gt1030 but what the gt1030 have you know the 750ti doesn't have is that nvidia supports it and will like update a lot of drivers down the line and some of the higher AAA games will be playable 30 frames per second is your goal there like don't get your hopes too high and now next up the other i believe three or four gpus um that again will not last you that long because because nvidia doesn't support them or amd <laughs> we're looking at the gdx 660 660 ti 760 gdx 670 and amd r9 270 270x uh 280 even all these gpus go under 100 bucks they go ranging from like 70 80 to 100 dollars 120 somewhere in that neighborhood uh a lot of them play a lot of games at 1080p at 60 frames per second uh, 30 frames per second again don't put your expectations is too high just because it's for 100 bucks uh, it gets the job done it can play a lot of games it runs any game pretty much and a lot of these competitive games you'll get 144 frames per second especially the nvidia gpus because they tend to run faster on competitive games for some reason uh, i will link down the nvidia gpus because i like them but again put the priority on the gdx 760 gdx 670 then the 660 ti the GDX 660 is the slowest one of the bunch. So uh, with that out of the way, we're looking at the other five GPUs. Uh, now, by the way, all the GPUs that I've mentioned, they have two gigabytes of VRAM. It's not good, but it's okay, you know. Now let's look at the GPU that I like, and it doesn't consume power, like it doesn't need a six pin power connector, the GTX 1050. Now I've never been a fan of the GPU, but given the circumstances for 100 bucks, you're getting a really solid experience, 1080p, uh, 45 to 60 frames per second a gtx 960 like performance and uh, yeah it can run a lot of games at really good frame rates uh, like fortnite for example you're gonna get 144 frames per second cyberpunk 2077 uh, again it's pretty good i mean it really gets the job done it will run the next gen AAA titles at decent settings and you'll not go wrong with it at all now looking at the two other gpus from uh, nvidia the GDX 950 and the GDX 960, they're both ranging somewhere from 100 to 150 bucks, over the budget but worth it. GDX 960 is one of the fastest GPUs of the 10 GPUs that I've mentioned, and it runs any game at 1080p, 60 frames per second, 45 frames per second. The thing is that it runs any game, and this is what you'd need for more 100 bucks GPU at this time. Yeah, it could run any game at 1080p, 60 frames per second if you were to pay 100 bucks on a GPU like I don't know six month from now or like a year from now but right now as you can see what it is it's still decent just as the gdx 950 gets the job done they both get the job done for the price you're paying and uh, this is the best bang for the buck in my opinion. now the other gpus from amd you got the rx 460 and the rx 560 now why i like the rx 460 because right now there is a deal on it that goes for 90 bucks you can get it for 80 if you wanted to make an offer so that's a really good deal for me and the rx 560 is 
is a pretty decent GPU for the price. Uh, both the GPUs, again, they are supported from AMD. They still support the latest drivers. Both the GPUs are very good. They can run a lot of games and it's a very good budget options. Like, yeah, so I guess that's been it. Look for the second division or the second five gpus the second batch of five gpus first if you couldn't find them look for the first batch that's been it and uh, subscribe if you found this video helpful and peace